So crazy news. I know y'all have been hearing about a bunch of artists, not even necessarily rappers, because as much as we like to think rappers are huge, there is a difference between a pop star and a rapper, right? Just the, the reason they a pop star, it's an acronym or a actually abbreviation is it it's just a shorter term for popular music for like the mainstream npcs some pop music is good i'm not gonna lie but like the last person i want to say that got a huge deal from selling their catalog was justin bieber who i believe sold it for 200 million dollars mind you that is nine figures you you see people saying that they want to make six figures per year not nah. He just made nine figures. Now, I don't know if he gets like the full percentage of that. Although I think Justin Bieber probably gets a, a pretty big stake in that just because he's been in the game for so long. And as you get bigger and bigger, you have more leverage in your uh, latter releases because once your first deal runs up, then to sign the next deal, instead of getting like that 10, 20 percent that these artists really get at the beginning, they're like, nah, man, like I'm Justin Bieber, I'm Drake, I'm Bad Bunny, whatever. So they're like, nah, I want 75 because even if they drop independently, they're gonna make a bag. So the label, honestly, they they want even the worse off deal. But anyway, Juice World is the last artist to have sold his catalog. Well, not really Juice World. It's his label and or family, his mom, for nine figures. Again, that's in the same ballpark as Justin Bieber in the hundreds of millions. I will repeat that again. Hundreds of millions of dollars, bruh. That should tell you the category of artist that Juice World was. We know that he was a certified hit maker. He has so many songs out, but also unreleased, which we'll get to in a second but they all went like billboard because he brought like this alternative more pop version of rap basically like the casual listener or average listener could listen to juice world because he could actually sing as well he wasn't just a rapper that was one dimensional like a lot of rappers no hate towards them but that's why juice world was so different that's why he's a legend bro these other rappers are not selling their catalogs for nine figures hundreds of millions of dollars especially only being in the game for legit i want to say like a year while he was alive bro he died in 2019 late 2019 and he signed i want to say like 2017 or 2018 so let's say one two years and he's already selling for hundreds of millions of dollars that is ridiculous Imagine how much money he would have been able to make if he stayed alive for even like a few more years. Maybe he would have retired after like two or three more albums. But imagine he might have even been like a, a billionaire, bro. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to say that he owned a substantial part of his catalog. Like as we're going to discuss a little bit later, he probably is not getting or his mom is not getting the nine figures she's probably getting a, a decent amount though like for her to live a comfortable lifestyle but if he were to drop a project a year for the next i don't know like 10 15 years because juice Ross has so many songs and again as we'll discuss they have enough music to do that anyway but imagine how much his discography would be or his catalog would be able to sell for later in life it's almost like a it's not the level of michael jackson but michael jackson's probably i don't know what his sold for but i could imagine it going for like a billion at this point so juice world man could have been like rich rich but as i was saying let's read this article real quick um juice world's catalog is commanding some major cash a majority stake in the late rapper's rights and income streams was quietly sold to Opus Music Group in early 2022 in a nine-figure deal, according to Billboard. So this is pretty much a verified source, I want to say. But in early 2022, that means a year ago about. And we ain't even know. You ain't even know it. The deal reportedly includes hundreds of unreleased Juice World tracks as well as his full released music catalog. So that goes for all the leaks too that are not released. So some of these leaks, this company, Opus Music Group, they, they bought them leaks too, or at least the rights to them, which is ridiculous. Again, that's probably why it's hundreds of millions of dollars because he doesn't have that many albums out. He has what? Goodbye and Good Riddance, Death Race for Love, Legends Never Die, and then uh, de Fighting Demons. 
So that's, yeah, I guess that's four albums, but hundreds of unreleased Juice World tracks means that there's going to be with an average of, let's say 25 tracks per album. That means four albums per hundred. So we're getting multiple Juice World albums posthumously in continuation i guess for all the juice world fans that want more music i personally think like we should we should stop but hey they gotta make back the hundreds of millions of dollars that they spent on it right so business is business or if they're not going to release music then they're going to essentially copyright claim all of these leaks that are posted on soundcloud youtube whatever so they're not necessarily uh, officially released but they're still claiming the money or revenue that comes from these songs by claiming them on youtube and whatnot if that makes any sense like they go through the uh like bmi or ascap like the the publishing companies to claim his label partners grade a productions and interscope records will retain ownership of his master recordings opus which is financially backed by investment management firm elliot management now owns 90% of Juice World's interest in master recording income and 90% of his share of publishing ownership. So that means that Interscope and Grade A still own the masters, but then they give up the revenue or income that comes from it, but they're still the bag holders, but they gave up 90% of the, the revenue. But they did give up the ownership of the publishing, 90% of it at least. Represent the body of work of Juice World, whose cultural significance and generational influence can't be overstated, is an honor and a responsibility. Applause. Juice World has five top five albums on the Billboard 200, including two number ones, Death Race for Love and Legends Never Die. He has nine top 10 hits on the Billboard Hot 100, including his biggest hit, Lucid Dreams, which reached number two. So essentially, for all the people who are asking like, why are they buying this music well lucid dreams and all these albums and songs like juice world still gets tens hundreds of millions of streams maybe even billion streams per year so now this company is just going to accumulate that in perpetuity because they own 90 percent of it like juice world doesn't even have to release any more new music for them to make a ton of money off this they essentially bought a house that is generating rental income but it's just in music this is essentially all that labels do anyway with artists they give them the advance aka they're giving them an upfront like down payment essentially they give the artist the money and so then they own the master recording and that's why artists get pissed off because at the end of it they kind of get screwed but they don't have the money whenever you have the money you're the one in power and being rich isn't necessarily having a lot of cash it is having a lot of of assets elon musk isn't the richest dude because he got billions and billions of dollars in the bank no he probably don't have that much he, he probably got mills but it's like uh, less than a percent of his net worth it's all in tesla stock and other investments and so what these companies do is they just buy a bunch of assets such as musical catalogs like juice world justin bieber michael jackson and the like and they just accrue revenue every single month and they're probably gonna make it back and more but it might just take like 30 years or so but that's all they want anyway because they probably took out a loan to get this money at a smaller interest rate than the amount of profit they'll make every Every single month that's how uh renting out your house is too you get a mortgage but then you rent it out for more it's a cool little business but it's hard to get into because you know you got to get hundreds of millions of dollars which your boy can't get access to maybe in the future i don't know and uh for all the people who are asking like who's getting this nine figures well whoever owned part of the masters i would hope that juice world owned part of his masters or at least part of the income such as what this company bought because the masters are still owned by interscope and grade a but they got 90 percent of interest in the master recording income so i hope that at least like you know 10 mil went to juice's mom that would be great but definitely a far majority went to grade a and interscope records and that is why they buy the masters or give these artists you know say a couple mil up front as an advance because then they can sell it on the back end if you're a super success for for hundreds of millions of dollars bro it's like buying a 
a broken down house renovating it the kitchen maybe some of the bathrooms all of a sudden it goes up like 10 times what you actually put into it you know so that's why artists know your worth but then again you aren't getting necessarily screwed all the time because sometimes you need the money to blow up your career and the resources so it's it's kind of a win-win deal for both but again whoever got more money is gonna be in more control of what's going on of getting more money because they're taking the risk. But y'all let me know in the comments what you think about this. How much do you think Juice World's catalog is worth? Because I feel like that's a pretty fair price. I think Juice World, especially with the unreleased tracks that are built into this deal, even if all of the current songs flop, like they get a bunch of new albums that will drop soon. And I feel like Juice World's music is generational in the sense that, or timeless, if you will, in that it's not just like trendy. It's, it's music that everybody can listen to even parents he was in fortnite for god's sake i think i think or his music was at least but regardless it's been your boy bob lamb signing off make sure to like and subscribe to join the bob gang if you with it you saw a cloud people no i see